my mind is like <laughs> shutting down or something or like I don't know but I've never had that done and I find it weird it's already kind of cold and it kind of feels good hey guys it is Saturday the 25th of September and I want to say that it feels just like as if my surgery isn't happening at all with all those constellations and lack of planning, the lack of everything. It just truly feels like it's not happening. I understand it's weird and it is happening and everything, but I'm just in this weird state that I'm like, I don't know. Like when you have something you're going towards, when you have this thing, this big thing that you you spend a lot of time planning, you spend a lot of time preparing for, discussing, thinking about, obsessing about. You have a date and everything and then it's not happening, it's cancelled and it's up in the air and you know. I don't know about you but it really put me off a bit in a way that it feels like it's not happening and my body is in a state of shock i think a little bit i don't know if it makes sense but i think on a psychological level all of this preparation and everything leading up to this big event and this event not happening at all my mind is like <laughs> shutting down or something or like i don't know yeah so i'm in that weird mood however even with that i did get the 50 pound Amazon voucher from work, which I used to get some supplies, which are arriving today, tomorrow, and the day after. So, what did I get? I got three things. I got this jaw bra, icing, and heat pad thing that you'll need to be using uh, a lot. So I got that, and I also got some. I got two syringes. There was a pack of two syringes with like a tube, catheter-like tube, um, as opposed to feeding yourself through the syringe directly like that. It's way more convenient to to use that tube and, you know, it's, it's just easier that way. Another thing that I got is um, the squeeze bottles. Squeeze bottles with like a tube getting out of them so i thought that might be useful um so a lot of people are using it the last thing i got i was like buying three things only for the jaw surgery like um am i sure about my choices the choices that i'm making with everything you know three things only like what the hell i looked through like the jaw surgery essential amazon selection and I saw all of these jade rollers and I was like, fuck it, might as well. I might as well get this. The ice roller that you use to roll all of the swelling away. So I got one of those and I'm thinking if I end up having my surgery like in the middle of October or something and then I'll only have a couple of weeks left of my holiday. I don't know. The faster the swelling goes down, the better. Though it really doesn't matter because I can easily not go on some calls, on video calls and just pretend like nothing's happened to me but yeah swelling is one of those things that you really want to get rid of as fast as possible so jade roller is supposed to this is a jade roller it's not it's just one of those fucking rollers that you put in the freezer for four hours and then roll around on your face so all of that is arriving soon and i'm happy i got that i have my pajamas so i think i'm ready i think i'm ready for the jaw surgery <laughs> you guys so here's the story, uh, it's not the end of everything I got. Once I put all of those four items in my basket, I was like, I still had like 10 pounds left over or something. And I was like, let me have a look around. So what I ended up getting is, okay, I'm not gonna tell you now. I'm gonna talk all about it when it arrives late today. Did I ever tell you about the Elita Champ, you guys? Oh my God, I remember I was laughing at my boyfriend for even wanting it and everything. I was like, are you? stupid or something like what's going on with you anyway when we just got our first cat Lynette and the second cat Lyra we used to scoop all the poop into this poop bags that you get for dogs and just throw them out in a regular bit because we didn't know how to like get rid of that <laughs> you can't just flush it down the toilet with, with some litter you just can't do that so like let's just get rid of it the usual way and then as the amount of cats 
got higher and higher we needed to come up with a solution with a better solution than that and what my boyfriend found online is this thing basically a little champ bin situation where you basically have now it's very full it's been like a week it doesn't smell it really controls everything but it's like a bag of poop in the bin okay, i'm not going close what you do you just every time you scoop the poop you just put it there last for a week with three cats it doesn't smell or anything and i'm like oh my god this is literally the best invention ever created once the bag is full what you do is super simple super basic but i'm gonna show you you just draw all, all of the stuff out you roll it out you roll it out and then there is this this one here what you do Okay, once this is done, you see, you just put it through this one and you cut it off and what you do, you put like a knot there. You put it like a knot there. And you dispose of the poop. What you do next is you, you are left with it and the bag that has a hole at the bottom so what you do you basically make a knot at the bottom and that's it it is so good you guys it really doesn't smell or anything i was worried that i would like smell or something but it doesn't if you have more than one cat even if you have one cat you know you don't have to worry about getting a shit ton of put bags or anything you don't have to worry about i don't know it's just actually the most convenient and the most amazing thing we bought for our cats if you have cats highly recommend this it's it's amazing it's called little champ and see how much Mia's grown she grew up so fast it feels like literally i woke up one day and she was just long pig okay guys important 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 announcement i told you that i've been going to the gym three four five times a week for like an hour and i should push myself around for 30 minutes i go on all the biceps machines and i proper push myself and then i do the clothing at work so it's the whole fucking thing I signed up to the gym on the 17th of august last month and but i've been so many times there as you may recall my weight was 56 57 i don't know and i don't i think something is off with this weight because there's no way in hell i am what like 60. so what i decided to do i decided to take a sugar pack one kilo sugar pack and see what this count shows me okay the moment of truth It didn't change. No, it kind of shows that it should be like one. So, is this correct or what? Am I, am I truly like, what, 60 kilos? No. There's no way it's impossible. You know what? I'm just gonna get like electronic weights and for the sake of i just got it guys so remember a couple of days ago i was telling you that i don't really trust the weights that i have in this house you know because there's no way in hell i'm like 58 or 59 or 60 you know it's just i, I don't believe it so i got new scales got this one's rent party rent pa something smart healthy living so basically the way this scale operates is there's an app you connect the scale to your app and it tracks not just your weight but also your bmi percentage of water muscle weight like all of those metrics and it basically tracks your weight as as it changes you know so i like that i like keeping track of it so i haven't opened it yet or anything great so it fucking says i'm 60 kilos for real 60 <sighs> this information is crazy to me because like i said i've always been 52 53 and it's just so fucked up 
um i don't look fat or anything i look okay you know when i look at myself it's just this number is so crazy to me right now i have all this other metrics like body fat and stuff and apparently it says that i have 28 percent of body fat and 28 percent is within acceptable level however if you look at this graph i'm not sure okay um basically athletes and fitness guys have the fat level uh, between 15 and like what well, I don't know 20 25 percent i'm like far from being in good fitness level i'm in the middle of acceptable all of that fat guys it needs to go i think i literally have eight kilos of fat or something all gained during this year okay so i've decided to see how fat my boyfriend is are you going to put this in the vlog to feel better about myself what if i'm less fat than you i'm not gonna so edit I need, to put, I need to put some weight on before doing this so you feel better yeah okay let me eat something first. <laughs> You're showing my feet on the floor. Yeah, box. exactly my weight. See how fat you are. Okay, so exactly. What? Why 14? Is it, why is you it have my fucking fat. But how does it look different from yours? How is it in real? Mate, this don't matter. This raw fat. Something change that doesn't, doesn't matter. No, it matters because that's the fat that you need to lose. No, you want to lose visceral fat. Visceral fat is what makes you unhealthy. Yeah, but what I care about is the other one. Can you check this one feet on your app? So, well, so you're telling me I don't need to go to the gym anymore. <laughs> I feel cheated. Yeah, I feel cheated by it my boyfriend. It feels horrible because I haven't been going to gym and stuff and I still have better things than you, but it feels so cheated. Are uh, you burning all your fat by playing games all the Like literally, right? Maybe my brain is burning fat because of my <laughs> insights. My, my intelligence is required to upkeep it. Yeah, Mary, do you know how hard it is for me to gain weight? I just, my really fat metabolism, so I just burn most of my weight really without even doing anything yeah but i if used I to be the same lot, as well I, I get underweight really quickly so we we, we can't go on scooter together anymore <laughs> because we're on 20. can we both lose weight <laughs> <laughs> so apart from me finding out that i have a shit ton of fat that i need to get rid of also got some more stuff for that i ordered for the jaw surgery so have this ice roller i'll try it out even before the surgery apparently it tightens skin and you know i'll just have to dump it in a freezer for four hours it seems yeah it's already kind of cold and it kind of feels good you guys it feels really good i need to clean it right and then i also got i also got three squeeze bottles they're 250 milliliters i think so i could like eat, eat from them and stuff Okay, so there's gigantic syringes with an attachment with two tubes. I don't know how good they are, they seem a bit too long. Um, I guess I'll need to like make them a little bit shorter. I don't need them to be that long. It is very long, you guys. So yeah, I got two of those. And that's it. Uh, I'm still waiting for my jaw bra to arrive, but I think it will arrive in the next couple of days. I think I'm ready for my jaw surgery. Um, can't think of anything else. I have a little toothbrush and I have Vaseline and I have button up pajamas. I have all that stuff. So I don't think I need anything else. If I think of anything, or if you think I need something else, let me know, guys. Maybe I'm missing out on something. I don't know. In terms of like a tiny tooth toothbrush, this oral B tip is like so small. I think it's perfect. I don't think I need to get like a tiny toothbrush. This is perfect. On top of that, when I got my braces, I got this tiny toothbrush as well. And this one is ultra soft, extremely soft and nice. It won't damage any gums or teeth. So this one is quite small. And if you think about it, all Oral-B brush heads are extremely small. I also have Vaseline and I need to get like a Chanel napkins and face, face wipes. So I think that's it. Let me know. Honestly, let me know if I'm missing, missing, not me, missing, missing out on something. I think I think this. I have a good selection of the curry stuff. I'll get some food as well. I'll get some hard bean soup. Um, it's it's a, it's a strap. You did it. And you stick. You look so stupid. I, I'm gonna make money when you work <laughs> So first off, I hate. I absolutely hate the fact that it's blue. I, I just hate the fact that it's blue. And then, so this is, this is what I will look like. I'll just be 
super fashionable with the job out walking around but when the time comes I don't think I'll be as happy but I think it's just for oh my god it's falling down but I think you can adjust it yeah okay bye